No, first so of all, when somebody says to you that Abraham was a Muslim, tell him, do you have any statement of Abraham? Statement from Abraham, not in the Quran. Statement oh. from Abraham where he mentioned ever the word Allah. Where Abraham, he worship a God, his name is Allah. Show us. All what they have is a book made by Muhammad. There's no witnesses, zero witnesses. One person, he said, I am a prophet. And Jibreel came to me and there's a prophet. His name is Abraham. And Abraham, he came to Mecca. But if we go to the Quran, we will find that the Quran itself get Muhammad busted. Abraham never was in Mecca. Neither Ishmael. And the proof is in front of us. We go here in the Quran. It says that before Muhammad, no warner ever came to Mecca. Never. And no scriptures was given to Muhammad, to, 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 to the Arab before Muhammad. Do you see, the, do you see my screen? Yes, I did. So chapter 48, it says, uh, we never sent any warner before you, Muhammad. Actually, hold on. This is not the verse I want. Sorry. This is not, not the verse I want. Ah, the chapter before it, uh, 30, uh, 34. So we never gave them any scriptures, people of Mecca, to study, and we never sent them any warner before you, Muhammad. So how the Muslim, they lie and they say that Abraham was in Mecca. So in the Quran itself, remember the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it contradiction. All right. We go in the Quran and we find verses speaking about uh, Ishmael was a prophet. You ask them, is Muhammad from Ishmael? They will say yes, he was in Mecca. Okay. Chapter 34, verse number 44, says that people of Mecca, they never have a single warner. Chapter 19, verse number 54, it says Ishmael was a prophet of Allah. You are not done. Chapter 2, verse 125, it says that there is a place where Abraham used to pray in Mecca. Chapter 2, verse 125. Okay. Chapter 2, verse 127, it says that Abraham and Ishmael, they are the one who built the Kaaba. So now we have overwhelming reference in the Quran that Ishmael and Abraham, they were in Mecca. And the children, according to Muslims, of Mecca, they are from Ishmael. Okay. So how in the world the Quran says, before you? You see, the Muslim, they cannot say, oh, they are talking in the time of Muhammad. No. It says, before you. Do you see the word before? Yeah, I do. It doesn't say we did not say in your time a prophet. It says we never sent before you. Zero. Neither they have a scriptures to study it, neither they have a warner to warn them about the true God. So how Abraham and Ishmael they were in Mecca. That is a very stupid thing to say. So the Quran itself is uh, uh, the Quran debunk the Quran? Other verse in the Quran it says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Chapter 4, verse number 82. So now we prove that Abraham never was there. And remember, when the verse here says we never gave them scriptures to study, according to the Quran, Ibrahim, 
By the way, the Quran one time says Ibrahim, one time says Abraham. You don't even know how to quote any name correctly. So according to the Quran, Ibrahim, he have scriptures. And if Ibrahim, he have scriptures, as we see in chapter 87, verse number 19, then why the Quran says, we never send any warner before you and we never gave them scriptures to study before you. And if Muhammad, he is the first one to be a warner in Mecca and never was to exist as scriptures in Mecca, so how even Muhammad knew who is Abraham? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. The guy, he don't have any idea. So, yeah, it's a paradox. Yeah. So the guy who is saying that it's Abrahamic, well, Abrahamic, why why Abraham who worshiped the one God will kiss a black stone? Why Abraham who worship one God, he will be leaving a God. He have zero ethic. Literary religion. Plus, the Abraham in the Quran himself is a pagan. According to the Quran, Abraham he worshiped three gods. One of them, his name is Akbar, and that is the son. So according to chapter 6, verse number 76, when Abraham saw a planet or a star in the sky, he said, this is my God. But when this planet disappeared, Abraham, he says, I don't like the one disappear. Then Abraham, he saw the moon. Verse number 77. Abraham, he said, this is my God. But then when the moon uh, did not sweet his purpose with Abraham, as we see here, which doesn't make sense what he is saying, he said, this is my Lord. When the when 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 the moon disappeared, he said, "You know what? This moon disappeared. I don't like the one disappeared. Did not guide me for anything." Then he saw the sun. Now look what he said. فَلَمَّا رَأَى الشَّمْسَ بَادِغَةً قَالَ هَذَا رَبِّي هَذَا أَكْبَرٌ. Now we know who is Akbar. Akbar is the name of the sun. Allah is the name of the moon god. Akbar is the name of the sun god. So Abraham, when he saw the sun, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar, Hada Akbar. Who? The sun. Then when the sun disappeared, he said, I'm not going to worship the one who disappeared. And here you see how stupid the whole story. Then the Quran jumped to verse number 79 and said that Abraham, he said, Abraham, he says, I am a Hanif. Hanif means Kafir. The stupid <laughs> Muhammad, he took, he, he took an Aramaic word. This is an Aramaic word. Mean, uh -huh. mean Kafir. Mean a bad person. Mean a person who worship. He's pagan. An so infidel. This, infidel. Not pagan, pagan. Mean pagan. So the stupid uh -huh. Muhammad, he do not know what Hanif is. So he said that Abraham, he says, I turn my face into the true God. I am pagan. And then <laughs> since then, the Muslim, they say that Muhammad is a Hanif. <laughs> yeah. The Muslim themselves, they say we are Hanif, like Abraham. <laughs> God. Anyway, I hope I didn't answer you, brother. Anyway, you can invite yeah, your friends exactly. here. You can invite him here so we can laugh. And remember... The Muslim don't have a friend, it's chapter 5, verse 51. So if he said to you, you're my friend, he's lying to you. <laughs>